ruling all jihadists, why do you hate innocent people who have done you no wrong? More to the point, why do you hate Israel? Don't you know that you came from the same father of Ishmael and Isaac? From Ishmael came the Arabs, and from Isaac came Israel. Whilst Isaac was a son of promise, but Ishmael wasn't. Nevertheless, because of Abraham, God made Ishmael a great nation. So what I'm saying is, why do you hate Israel? And the people of the Western world? You want to make a caliphate of the world. But if you manage to make a caliphate of the whole world, would you stop your jihad? I suppose not. Why? Because you fight your own people. That is, Sunnis and Shias. What have they done to you to want to kill them? It doesn't make sense. Remember, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is love. He said to love your neighbor as yourself. Pray for your enemies and those who persecute you. You see, love overcomes hate. For example, if you speak soft words to an angry person, he will calm down, don't you think? Oh yes. What is to be gained in all the bloodshed? Don't you know that evil creates more evil? I forgot. There is no forgiveness in Islam. The word is foreign to Quran. Apparently Muslims are normal people until they read the Quran. Then they become killers. I know that you probably wouldn't agree, but it's true. Your Quran says, kill. Yes, kill all those who are infidels. Force them to convert to your ways. But you can force people to do things against their will, but you will never change the heart of men. We have laws against discrimination, but in the heart of people, they still hate each other. But outwardly, they can't do anything about it, because if they did do something, they will be had before the law to pay for what they've done. So people live to tolerate each other merely. There's no love between people in the world. Can you buy love? No. People can only love by surrendering their heart. Love is not by force. You see, God, the Creator, His name is Yahweh Elohim. He lets his goodness shine on the wicked as well as the righteous. Allah is not the God of Abraham. The God of Abraham loves you all with an everlasting love. He asks the question, why would you die, my child? Why would you die? By this, he's addressing everyone in the world. He says to you, turn, turn from your wicked ways. He wants to be a father to you. If you seek him with all your heart, he will be found of you. I'm addressing all my brothers and my sisters in the Muslim world. I know that some of you watch my videos, for example, in Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar, and other places in the Arab world. Don't you know that violence breeds violence? Choose peace, not war or hatred. Stop the bloodshed. Find out your purpose for this life. Your destiny is not to blow up innocent people and in that you think that you'll be ushered into paradise. This is fantasy. Because believe it or not, the real martyrs 
uh, those you chop off their heads for Jesus. Yes, you chop off their heads for Jesus. What will be waiting for you if you carry on as you are is the hellfire of destruction. You can only find your purpose or destiny by seeking the God of Abraham, not Allah. Why not ask Jesus to reveal himself to you? I promise you that he will do just that. He came to this world in a human form to pay the penalty for sin. Yes, he died to pay the price for you because you and I are sinners. So, be reconciled to the God of Abraham, not Allah. If you want eternal life, find him. He will give you eternal life. You will never find peace in your heart until you do so. Why not read the Zabor, the Psalms of David? David found peace in his God. Won't you call on him? He's waiting with his whole arm outstretched. He said, yes, come, my daughter, come, my son. You will have eternal life. So this is my word to you today. Stop the bloodshed and think about love instead, not hatred. Hatred consumes people. Love makes your mind at peace. So find the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the creator God, not Allah. So, Thank you, my brothers and my sisters in the Muslim world, for watching me. Bye for now.